Hello, my name is Jordan Dunkley, and today I will be doing my SWOT analysis on Bojangles on Bluff Road, Columbia, South Carolina. Now, I went to eat lunch at Bojangles on September 8, 2017. Now, I had ate at Bojangles before, and I was usually enjoying the meal that I received from Bojangles. Now, while I was eating, I took notes regarding the atmosphere, the service, and the overall quality of the food. And from the notes, I composed a SWOT analysis that focuses on the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Now, to begin with strengths, the first thing I did when I got to the restaurant was go to the bathroom. I noticed immediately that the bathroom, along with the rest of the restaurant, was very, very clean. That was an immediate strength that I took note of. After using the bathroom, I went up to order my food. Now, the, pr the price was reasonable. It wasn't the cheapest, but it definitely wasn't the most expensive you could get. But after paying for my meal, I did notice that the employees preparing my meal knew what they were doing. They did not have any problem preparing the food or putting it on the plate or cooking it. Now, the food came out really fast, and that was another strength. I'm a very impatient person, and the fast service was a very big strength that I took note of. Also, the quality of the food was a good strength. I'm a very big fan of the, chick, the Cajun chicken biscuit, and I was, very, I was not disappointed this time. Now, moving on to weaknesses, as I stated before in the strengths, the performance of the employees was very good, but the customer service was horrible. Now, as I approached the register, the employee, the cashier, looked at me and said, What do you want? And it shocked me. I had never been to a fast food restaurant or any other kind of restaurant where the, the uh, cashier looks at you and just goes, what, what do you want? That was very bad customer service, and I took note of that as I got sat down. Now, another weakness has to do with the overall environment of Bojangles. It was very loud when I was trying to eat. And at times, I could hear the conversations of employees in the back speaking as loudly as they were sitting right next to me. Now, this environment was not peaceful, and that was a very, uh, it was a very identifiable strength while sitting there eating. Now, moving on to opportunities. Now, the quality of the food gets a lot of people to come in to Bojangles, but the customer service might drive people away. Uh, one opportunity that could arise for Bojangles is to make their employees take customer service classes or monitor the customer service. If the customer service improved, more people would come eat because they wouldn't be driven away by rude cashiers saying, what do you want when you come up to order food? I also think that promotional deals on game day could be another opportunity for Bojangles. Being in the prime location right by williams Bryce Stadium, if, if more promo deals were offered, more people will come out to eat. Now, I know that they do offer the tailgate specials and stuff for Bojang and other promo promotional deals, but if they could come out with cheaper deals instead of paying $30 to $40 for a tailgate basket, maybe paying $20 to feed two or three people, or maybe even four people, I think that that, that could get more people to come in on game day. Now finally, I'd like to talk about the threats of Bojangles. Now, Columbia is located right around the college town. And the Bojangles on Bluff Road is located far away from campus, all the way beside williams Bryce Stadium. So college students will not drive out there to get their Bojangles biscuit. Now, um, Bernie's Chicken is another threat for Bojangles. Located right down Bluff Road, Bluff Road, right past Bojangles, is another chicken shop that's loved by many Colombians. Now, the competition could be a huge threat to Bojangles and potentially take some of their customers away. Now, as I stated before, the price was reasonable, but it could also be a threat for Bojangles. Now, other fast food companies offer cheaper and cheaper food that could affect the lower income families in Colombia. Now, people with less money might go somewhere different instead of paying the 5 or $6 for a Bojangle chicken biscuit. Now, in my conclusion, I had a positive experience when I visited Bojangles. 
The quality of the food will make me come back, even though the customer service was not up to par. With minor improvements to the staff and the restaurant, Bojangles can fix its weaknesses and limit its um, threats. Thank you.